We're here at Matinecock Point. The bite looks like it's just starting to come on now. Just got one, Andy. We're fishing here. We're in about, what, seven, eight feet of water. We anchored up. And now what we're doing is we're throwing spro bucktails. And we're uh, really trying to keep them tight to the bottom as much as possible. Really, a very slow retreat. I got a nice fish on here. Tommy, you got that net by any chance? Oh, I got it right down here, Rich. I'll yeah, I got it right next to us here, Rich. All right. Now, again, we're fishing light tackle, 10-pound uh, test, braided line, fluorocarbon leader, and half-ounce bucktails. And, you know, these fish are here now, Andy, because they're spawning. Right, and they're just coming out. And I'm we're gonna walk just this working guy one down. of the local points here. And we're going to have to come back with this fish. Well, he's taking me all around the boat. That looks like a, a nice, solid he's fish. He's a dancer. He's a dancer. He is a dancer, I'll tell you. One thing about these fish, Tommy, that first run, and, you know, they get up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this thing go. Woohoo! You know, and on this tackle, this is the right stuff. We're really light, light tackle. And it also gives us a lot of feel. You can pick up even the slightest bites. Yeah. No, a it, lot it, of times, guys true. just fish this too heavy. Yeah, and what you want to do with the sandy when, you, when you're retrieving these lures, slow, bouncing it off the bottom. You are going to lose a couple of rigs. Tommy, you made a point before with the braided line. How one thing you can do with the braid, if you do hang up, you can snap it out. Oh, yeah, pop it off easy. You know, it also, it also works in aid with working your bucktail, too. Right. Yeah, you can keep that bucktail as close as you can to the bottom yeah, not, and, see, that and is, not have to worry about it too much. This fish actually hit on the fall. Um, I was working it, and I was just sweeping up and down and jigging a lot, and he came right up and, and hit it right on the fall. So what happened was I actually lost the weight of the bucktail. Yeah. And the other thing you want to do It looks like a decent fish, too. It came up once. What was that, Andy? The other things you want to do sometimes, you want to keep varying your retrieve. You don't always use the same retrieve. And sometimes you just a change in tempo, and boom, the fish is on. Most definitely, I agree. And again, you know what, Andy? We didn't got to mention this because it's very important. Like I said, we're trying a couple of different colors. There are some sand eels and some spearing around here, but these fish are primarily feeding on manta shrimp. Right. And we've seen a lot of manta shrimp in the Western Sound lately, and that's why we're using the pink. Right. And we've got a little um, exude curly tail on here. They actually call it purple. And it seems to be the, so far the ticket today. Um, this fish is coming nice and close now. Tom, you want to step in with the net? Yeah, I got you. I'm ready. Right. Yep. Going to put him head first into the net. Yeah, nice and slow. That's why they call them tide runners, right? That's right, yeah. And you know what? You may not think so, but I do have a pretty tight drag here, oddly enough. Well, this is a, that's a nice size fish. It's a good fish. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a pretty a beautiful one. Ready? Beautiful. Here we go, Tom. Whoa, come on. Turn your head, baby. Oh, yeah. There we beautiful. go. There Very we go. nice, Rich. That's my first week of the season, There bud. you go. That's, that's a good that's fish. That's a great yeah, start. That's a good... Uh, that's a real nice fish there. That's a real good fish. Now let's get him off and back in the water. Wow, look that's at that. That's a good fish. That's got to go about eight, nine pounds. Easy, right, Tom? Uh, I bet you it's even bigger. You think so? Yeah, I bet you it is. Got a nice belly on him. Yeah. Nice color of coloration. Oh, they, they are. They are little, absolutely little beautiful, beautiful, fish. beautiful this fish. Is, this is why this is the fish. It's, it's just magnificent. It is. And you know, you also, you know, you got to watch for novice anglers. You always oh, watch cool. those fangs. You mean these two right those, here? Those two little, those little <laughs> fangs right there. Those will do, those will do a job on you. Uh, you know what? I want to get this guy back in the water because now this fish, fish. this fish looks like he's going to spawn. You can see that full yeah, belly. Yeah. More than likely, this fish is rode up. So I'm going to take him and I'm going to put yeah, him right back in the water. Right out of the way here. Here. And we'll get him on his way. And that was just great. Let's get another one, guys. 